How's it going there, fellow? What's your game is? In the six years I've been playing this game, I often miss this armor because, like, I told Natalia, one of my female subscribers, that I tend to blurt through tunnels quick. The reason why I almost drowned in 120 feet of water scuba diving, and it kind of made me where I hate the Witcher Caves. So what I do, I hit the uh, cat eye and I blast right through them. But anyway, let's get back to this. I've missed this before, but now I'm in New Game Plus. I get a chance for a second set. You get two sets of everything when you play New Game Plus. You should only play the game twice, but your second set will be much stronger. So this Tesha Mutna I'm getting in helping Regis find out where the uh, debt lap is by doing the, how can you say, tissue regeneration. He has to get a potion. So we're going to go to Tesha Mutna where he can drain out the blood for you where you can brew the potion. Find out where debt lap is in blood and wine. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the so this is pretty much building up, it explains a lot about what it is, and then, then the game takes us to Tesha Mutna, the old ancient castle where you defeat Detlap and Regis kills him. You gotta remember as a gamer, in the Witcher series you cannot kill vampires. Impossible. They can always come back. They're immortal. So the game takes us down to where you're going to fight that lap for all you new gamers. But I don't expect many views on this, on this video here. Not at all. I make videos in my channel for a few people that need them. I'm not concerned about making a zillion views and asking for thousands of subscribers. I'm not into that. So now he's going to show you the way into it. Nothing's outside the castle. Don't even bother looking. But as soon as you get into it, there's the dead body. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. As soon as you get into it, I'm going to show you exactly what a Cheshire Moot in the armor and steel sword is. For some odd reason, there's not a silver sword. I guess vampires didn't want to defeat themselves with it. Because that's what you fight that lap with, your silver sword. Okay, so let's go inside. Still listen to Regis and Geralt talk it all over about the history of Tesha Mutna. Now this is the this is the Tesha Mutna black armor. To get the Tesha Mutna red armor, named a little different, you want to go into the Unseen Elder's cave. That's going to guarantee that Anthony Henrietta dies. So I'm doing a different ending. Every time I play this game, I'll shake it up. I'll change the endings. So this, this ending, I'm going to save Cyana. Now you go right down the stairs, right at the bottom of the stairs. Put on your Witcher senses, highlight everything. I'm going to take these mushrooms because they're vampire mushrooms. Normal loot. This is a scroll. I've looked at it for a couple of seconds, wondering what it is. So you can read it. Now this scroll is sitting next to part of the armor. It's right there in this chest. There's your steel sword, your chest armor, and your trousers. You're still going to need the gauntlets and the boots. Oh, and you also get the mask. But like I say, this walkthrough in the six or seven years I've been playing this game, I'm getting everything in this tunnel. This for real? But like I said, I just cannot find the silver sword. So if Tesha Mutna has a silver sword, please, any of you gamers, tell me. Let me know in the comment. I'm going to do my best to find it. Now, once you play this game, you want to blast past all this because you have to fight the monsters down at the bottom of this tower. 
the dungeon per se. And you tend to blow right by all this. But this time I'm doing everything like Natalia said to do. Don't miss anything. She doesn't. She sees everything the game shows you. I think women make the best wishes more than men because we tend to blast by stuff. Women are more thorough. Now here in the multiple dungeons, be sure to loot the bodies. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. I'm hoping it's right here in this chest. Boots. And mask that leaves the gauntlets So right here near the end, on the left side, not in the cell, but I'm looting my way all the way down. I'm looting everything. Many a game, I'm blown right by the stuff. Right there, see that little box? That's the ring. Going down a little bit farther, right before the door on your left. Past this corpse. Should be one more. Left hand side. Again, right there. Nope. Another book. But it's going to be in a small container just like that. The size of that. Right there, left hand side, get the gold, and bingo, there they are. And that's it guys and girls, that completes your Teshamutinus debt. It's a vampire black armor, it's pretty good, it's pretty good armor too. I walk back just to reorient myself where I'm at, where it's at. It's in the last row of cells. Left hand side almost to the end. It should be the end treasure. So it's time to follow Regis, go down and kill, kill the uh, monsters. Not an easy fight either. See, right there they are. All right. From here, I'm going to load it up and I'll show you how it looks like in the day and time of Toussaint. And I'll tell you what else I do to it. So everything's done. The monsters are killed. Regis is recuperating. 
and I go to my master armorer, the best guy in Beauclair, to build everything. I wanted to buy some 10% glyphs from him in Quinn. I'm going to put protection on this armor. So I'm going to add it up with Quinn and maybe one or two other glyphs. I'm not too concerned about it. It's not my woven school or my earth sign armor. And then I got to go to that steel sword. But what I'm going to put in that is three ten percent attack power. It's going to have 30% more attack power than a normal steel sword would have. What I like about this Tesha Mutant steel sword is it comes with three sockets. Now my Erendite to the right of it, my silver sword, I had to pay that Rune Master on the east side of Lake Shanty to put him in, and he's expensive. So that's it for this video. I don't need, don't need care if two or three people watch it. If it helps one person, I did my job by making this. Besides, that's why I have my channel, to have fun and do what I like to do. So until I see you next time, guys and girls, you just keep on gaming.